Welcome to Electra Online. One of the amazing things about Jupiter is the enormous wind speeds and speeds of the wind or the wind speeds going in opposite directions to the rotation of the planet. In some cases it's with the rotation, in other cases it's the opposite direction of the rotation. And so what we've drawn here is a map of the planet. Essentially we want to look at it going from north to south and notice the line here, the purple line, represents the speed of the wind at various latitudes. So here would be the equator, that would be 10 degrees north of the equator, 20 degrees north, 10 degrees south, 20 degrees south, and so forth. And the line in the middle here is where the speed of the wind would be zero. To the right, the speed of the wind would be in the same direction as the rotation of the planet, and to the left of this center line right here would be wind speeds to the left uh, in the opposite direction to the rotation of the planet. The farther out it goes away from the center line, the faster the wind speeds. And you can see at this point right here, which is between 0 and 10 degrees south of the equator, the wind speeds are absolutely enormous, reaching speeds of 430 kilometers per hour in the same direction of the rotation. So of course that would be faster than the rotation of the planet. Then, further south, when we're at about 15 degrees or so below the equator, you can see we have enormous speeds as much as 200 kilometers per hour in the opposite direction of the rotation of the planet. And then again, down to about 25 degrees, notice now the wind speed is again in the same direction. Over here at 30 degrees below the equator, it's again to the left uh, relative to the rotation of the planet same direction of rotation of the planet, about zero, about the same speed as the planet, so it would be relative to the planet kind of wind still. Then here we have again high winds in the same direction of the planet, again wind still, high winds in the same direction of the planet, wind still. So here we're still talking about wind speeds of 100 to 150 kilometers per hour, which that would be like 60 to 100 miles per hour, which is still enormously fast winds. Again on the northern side of the planet, notice that we have very high wind speeds pretty well between a little over 10 degrees below the equator all the way up to a little bit over 10 degrees north of the equator. So for about a 25 degree region right around where the equator is we have wind speeds that are typically sustained anywhere from about 250 to about 400 kilometers per hour. So the air masses of the atmosphere move at very high speeds in the same direction of rotation, much faster of course than the rotation of the planet moving ahead of that rotation. Then when we go north of that, notice now we have wind speeds in the opposite direction, not nearly as fast, somewhere in the neighborhood of 80 to 100 kilometers per hour. Then between 20 and 25 here we have wind speeds, again approaching 3 to 400 kilometers per hour in the same direction as the rotation of the planet. Then we have some high wind speeds back in the opposite direction of about 100 kilometers an hour. Same direction of planet, opposite, same direction, opposite, same direction, opposite. About wind still, opposite direction, and about wind still. We don't have a lot of data of winds above 60 degrees north and below 60 degrees south because there the, the winds are relatively, relatively different. Now, notice that we have a similar pattern on the Earth, not nearly as extreme. Of course, on the Earth, we're talking about wind speeds of you know, 10, 20 kilometers per hour typically sustained, but we have these regions where we have sustained winds. And that's why back in the days when people were trying to sail across the Atlantic, they would go further south where the wind speed was predominantly towards the east, and then on the way back, they would go further north because the wind speeds were predominantly to the west when you went further. Um, I guess I have that the other way around. It's to the west, further south, and on the way back to Europe, they would go further north because on the wind speeds are predominantly to the east. So we see a similar pattern here um, on Jupiter. Again, the predominant wind speeds would be in the same direction of the planet, rotation of the planet, and with speeds well over 400 kilometers per hour, which is more than 250 miles per hour wind speed. So yeah, quite amazing, a lot of turbulence in the, in, the, uh, in the atmosphere. And also one more thing, notice I quickly drew the, uh, the big red spot here on the, uh, on the picture, on the diagram. Notice that at the northern end of the spot, the wind speeds are predominantly towards the west, and so that's why we have that rotation, counterclockwise rotation, and on the southern end of the, of the, uh, of the, red, the red spot, the wind speeds are predominantly towards the east, and you see that's part of the reason why we have that continual anti 
uh, or counterclockwise rotation of the big red spot because of those predominant winds in the zones in the belt ab above and below it. And that is how the speeds are illustrated in the best possible way, I believe, on the planet Jupiter.